Today we're here with members of the Regional Chamber to talk about their eMERGE program. So Kim, could you please tell us about the eMERGE program and why it exists at this point in time? Sure, sure, thanks Jeff. So I, I mean, it's already been several weeks since the state and federal government started issuing orders governing COVID-19. And I know since then, I think everyone in our Valley has probably felt the uncertainty and been a little scared about what's going on. But our business community particularly really doesn't know what the future holds. And in the last several weeks, we know there have been volumes of information coming out of the government, uh, you know, pages upon pages of documents that I know some of my colleagues can speak to, but I think that creates a lot of confusion as to what all this means. Um, and, and businesses are just trying to figure out how they can work through what's going on right now and, and still come out successfully. So we launched the Emerge Initiative to help them be able to do that. And, and really we are here to provide our team and our resources to help them navigate through everything that's out there and, and to make sense of it and make sure that they're doing what they need to do to emerge successfully when this is all over. So we identified areas where we felt businesses may have a lot of questions and we have our team that are answering questions in these particular areas. But in addition, we also have the support of our board and some of our member experts who are helping additionally with resources in those areas. So we're looking at finance, accounting, insurance, law, healthcare, business, and the marketing realm. So if a business has a question about any of those topics or really about anything in general, whether it fits one of those or not, they really should pick up the phone and call us and, and let us see what we can do to help. The most common area that we um, are seeing is, is needing to get information uh, broken down for the SBA loans that are available for small businesses um, and helping them uh, find a, an SBA lender if they don't already have one and just understanding and being prepared for all of the requirements in getting those loans as well as information such as, you know, what loans do they qualify for, what loans are forgivable, uh, helping them be prepared for all that and getting their applications in. So we have Dan here from SendSource. Uh, looks like you were able to work with the chamber and, and could you share your experience in, in tapping the expertise of the chamber and how you're able to help launch a new product in the market? The chamber was a big um, a big benefit for us, just to, especially with a, like a, a local feel there as far as how to kind of respond and react to uh, businesses and their needs, especially during uh, the COVID-19 uh, obviously issue. Um, with basically how to operate uh, under the, the guidelines of uh, you know the government you know government and uh, the regulations of occupancy within a lot of the businesses. Dan, can you tell us how your product to help uh, support support us through the coronavirus crisis? We basically um, developed a system that allows um, customers to. Um, kind of get up and running with accounting system. So if you if you if you go to like say uh, you know a, a big box store today, that's an essential business. Um, there you, you'll probably see a lot of you know scratching on a piece of paper or maybe a homegrown app to try to try to monitor the occupancy. So what we did is we complemented our existing system. Uh, we turned around an application very quickly that allows customers to rapidly deploy um, basically a. a a mobile handheld device that they could they 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 could um, kind of uh, have employees monitoring doorways, incrementing and decrementing the count, so they could have multiple uh, points of ingress and egress to monitor the the real time uh, occupancy. And then we offer a display that actually is color coded to, to basically say if they're going into warning kind of capacity uh, occupancy, and then it, it basically turns red whenever they go to max capacity. So they could limit people until somebody actually leaves the, 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 say a brick and mortar store in order to open up another spot for someone else to enter the shop. Okay. Um, and then with that, we have automated sensors, high accuracy sensors that we can then install kind of, kind of coming behind that kind of uh, manual in, input and to kind of offset that so they can free up their employees so it automatically drives that occupancy number and stays within the uh, regulation that's set by that by that store it might be 50% of their fire code or 25% of their fire fire code or maybe a hard number of 100 people in a big box store or it could be five people within a gas station. The Emerge Initiative has been live for about two weeks now. Uh, beyond Sensors, what other organizations have you seen come forward and, and maybe share something that's highly unique, an application that someone uh, is 
submitting for support that you found to be very unique and differentiated? We've had some members in some area companies reach out to us um, where they use PPE but might not necessarily qualify to receive um, any allocation from the state's stockpiles. So, for example, some nursing homes um, and other providers of direct health care. Um, so uh, my colleague Shay is leading our effort to um, work with manufacturers who either produce similar materials or um, have the ability to start production of PPE. So he's created a whole system where uh, we're able to send leads to the folks who are either uh, already producing PPE locally or have the capacity to do so in the future. So we're connecting uh, both the need and the provider together. Um, so if someone has a need in that area, I'd encourage them to reach out to Shay McMillan and all his contact information is on our website. Well then how long do you think the Emerge program will run? Even though it is out there now to help businesses pull through this time, I don't see it going away anytime soon because we're still going to be here and I, I don't think this is a, a short-term initiative. I don't think it's a, you know, it's going to be a short-term fix. I think it's going to take time for businesses to really pull through this, but even beyond that, we are here to offer these resources, not just now, but always. Absolutely. And, and Jeff, we are looking ahead because even, even if magically you could flip the switch and everything go back to normal, you know, we've tapped probably our unemployment system beyond its capabilities. The state's probably going to have to borrow from the federal government again, which triggers a, a penalty on all employers. Um, so we're already having discussions with the state leadership to figure out a way to avoid the employers from having to pay that penalty when this is all over. There'll be other little issues. So many uh, employees right now um, are in violation of their licensing agreements because their licenses are, have expired and they can't, whatever their profession is, they can't go and get their renewals. So we have to make sure that there's some relief for those guys as well. If I'm a business owner, how would I get involved? How would I learn more? What can I do to uh, tap into the Emerge initiative? We have created a resource page on our website at regionalchamber.com, and we are literally updating that page. It, it has to be almost every day of the week with new information, you know, taking old information off, putting new information up, and making sure it is constantly up to date. And we're also communicating a lot of that information on a daily basis with our membership. But in addition to checking out that page, it really is, you know, if you go to our website, the Emerge page is there with those areas and all the staff that you can call. So really what we want people to do is just to go there, see what they may need and just pick up the phone and call us and just tell us what's on your mind, see how we can help. 